This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Wednesday, December 28th. I'm Michael Groff. A mild day today and tomorrow, but then some forecast uncertainty starts to come into the mix. Unsettled weather appears likely this weekend, but just how much rain we get, that's very much up in the air. Next week looks like a pretty good cool down coming in, but just how cold does it get? So a lot of questions. Let's get out there and look at it this morning, see if we can find some answers. Mostly cloudy skies right now here in the valley. Mainly high clouds, however. Currently at 8 a.m. at Sky Harbor, 49 degrees. Dew points at 40. Relative humidity, 71%. The winds are calm. The barometer is rising. Temperatures out there this morning across south-central Arizona and around the metro area, primarily in the 40s to near 50. Lots of high clouds moving into the southwest around an upper low well to our west and south. And on the watch warning map, dense fog advisories along the Gulf Coast and in much of the southeast this morning. Some winter weather concerns in parts of New England and up into northern Maine as well as across the Rockies. On the convective outlook, there's a marginal risk of severe weather today for places like Pine Bluff, Arkansas, heading over toward Tupelo and into the Muscle Shoals area. Thunder also possible across much of the southeast along an old frontal boundary down there. And as far as our weather, let's talk about it. Let's see if we can find some answers to these complicated questions as we take a look at the models. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time today. A bit of a split flow across North America, the southern branch, fairly zonal. There's a cutoff low well west of the Baja. The northern branch features a pretty vigorous trough moving through the northern plains today so for us generally dry weather now i say dry there are going to be quite a few high clouds around some subtropical moisture very high level moisture coming into the region from the south but that's not going to hamper temperatures very much today i think we get up into the low 70s some of the models even suggest mid 70s clouds may keep us down a degree or two from where we would otherwise get but still i think we see some sun this afternoon Tonight, partly cloudy skies, and we'll be down in the 40s to near 50. Tomorrow, looks like a partly sunny day. That upper low, well to our southwest, begins to trek to the northeast. And some moisture should increase over the southeast part of Arizona. But I think the majority of this subtropical moisture stays away from us. It stays either to the southeast or south. So, again, partly sunny. High temps tomorrow. The latest GFS ensemble says we'll get up to 77 the GFS a deterministic run says 75. Either way, I think mid-70s are a pretty good bet for tomorrow. Friday is where we start to see the forecast uncertainty. For now, that cutoff low begins to head on shore into Southern California. So some rain for the Southern California deserts up toward Las Vegas. Yes, I suppose in western Arizona, an isolated shower can't be ruled out either. And maybe late in the day here or toward Friday night. We could see a little bit of rain here in the valley, so we'll say a 10% chance of showers for Friday. The sky partly sunny, high temps, upper 60s to low 70s. This is Saturday morning at 5 a.m., and that low tracks across northern Arizona. And most of the subtropical moisture with it should stay to the east, at least on the GFS run. And... Most of the dynamics should stay to our north. Therefore, it doesn't look like we're going to get much in terms of precipitation. However, if we take a look at the European, it's been very consistent in at least pulling in a bit more tropical moisture into the area. So there'd be a better chance of rain if this were to verify. The GFS is completely backed off of its uh, moisture-rich forecast that we were showing you yesterday and the day before. And instead, now it's showing a virtually dry forecast for us here in the valley for this weekend the european on the other hand continues with uh, what the gfs was showing yesterday so really anyone's guess so new year's eve partly cloudy there's a slight chance of showers will at least give a nod to the european run because of its consistency and high temps would be in the mid to upper 60s new year's eve i suppose an outside shot at a shower still around for the festivities and whatnot i don't think it's going to be a big washout though We'll see temperatures around midnight in the valley will be in the low to middle 50s. The sky partly to mostly cloudy. And again, those outside chances of showers. This is Sunday morning at 5 a.m. back off the GFS. And it shows absolutely nothing around here. And it keeps us dry. Yesterday and the day before, we were showing you a vigorous short wave trough and a cold front moving through here. 
That now appears to be off the table on the GFS, and it shows a dampened wave of some sort moving well to the north of Arizona, keeping us dry. But look at this. The European Sunday morning at 5 a.m. continues the idea of a vigorous short wave or low pressure area moving through and good precipitation being produced for much of the day. So what model do you believe? What forecast do you go with? For now, we're going to go with the more consistent European, at least lean in that direction and say a chance of showers, a 30% chance of rain New Year's Day starting in the morning hours. And I think that that decreases through the day, but high temps may well be in the morning, low 60s, and much of the day we spend in the 50s. Then as we head toward Monday, we'll say mostly sunny skies here, high temps mainly in the upper 50s to low 60s, partly sunny on Tuesday, high temps upper 50s to low 60s, and we should stay dry those days for now. And then the model differences continue as we go out to a week from today. This is Wednesday, January 4th. The GFS depicts a pretty cold vortex over southeast Ontario, plenty of Arctic air spilling south into the nation's midsection and east, as well as all the way down to the deep south. We would be mild and dry in this scenario. But the European has a broad, long-wave trough developing across basically the entire contiguous United States, and it shows a good trough headed our way here in the West. And we'd be much cooler with possible unsettled weather in this scenario. Uh, the main differences in the two models appear to be how they handle a sp developing split flow across North America and how they eventually evolve these various shortwave features that are moving through and the inevitable long uh, long wave patterns. So we'll have to see. This is uh, the end of the forecast period. We'll just skip out here to that. Friday, January 6th, the GFS comes back around to the idea of general long wave troughing across the U.S. And the European is very similar, except for the fact the European is much colder and shows more vigorous features uh, than does the GFS. So uh, either way, I think next week we cool down some. I don't think we're going to be Super cold, but high temps should be below seasonal averages, probably somewhere in the upper 50s to low 60s, lows mainly in the 40s, with some possibility of unsettled weather in here by the middle part of next week. But so many questions still left up in the air. I'll show you the numbers off the European temperatures for next week. If these were right, uh, that would be a very cold week, a high of 49 for next Wednesday. I don't think it's that cold, uh, but the GFS ensemble numbers are equally as ridiculous um, the other way. So we'll just have to see for now. A lot of questions going forward. I'm sorry that we can't answer more of them, but model madness and a very chaotic weather pattern shaping up over the next uh, week or so. So we'll see what we can find out as we go forward. That's a look at the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video by tomorrow morning. Thank you as always so much for watching and have a great Wednesday.